Hey, hello everyone, welcome to Airgaze. This is a, a Squaresoft fighting game from the 90s with Final Fantasy VII characters, and it's really cool. It's not exactly the most polished or good game, but it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> We've only got one PlayStation controller. Yeah, we if, were gonna, yeah. If Victor texts Digi back in a timely fashion, we might be able to find a second one and battle one another. But, I, don't, um, I don't see it happening because Victor A barely ever gets my texts. Like mm. they don't, they just like don't show up in his phone. It's probably better that we have one controller anyways. And because then also never arcade mode is how you unlock more of the guys. All right, yeah, it's fine. This means we can focus less yeah. on the game anyway. So um, here's all the the normal characters that nobody cares about in this game. Yeah, well, she's cool. Yoko. Oh, Yo Yo Yoko. Yo Yo Yoko. She she's I a like cop her. who fights with crime with a yo yo. Yeah, that's pretty good. Joe. Oh, there's, shit! There's Cloud. I thought he'd be an unlockable. There's Tifa, and there's Sephiroth. And I'm pretty sure you can you can also unlock Zack, Yuffie, and Vincent. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> there, there's a great YouTube video that is, I don't think it's up anymore, or I've never been able to find it again. It's just like a 10 second video of someone playing this game at this screen, going, Oh, it's a fighting game. Cloud's in this game! <laughs> Sephiroth! <laughs> it's the whole video, and it's the best thing ever. I can't believe Sephiroth's not an unlockable. That's just weird. Um, it, but does this so does this game take place in Midgar? No, this game has no fucking story or continuity or purpose at all, to my knowledge. I mean, I could see this being Midgar. Yeah, I mean, you um, could you can just believe that. I, mean, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's it, everything's everything's fake. So this is, this is a fighting game, but it's a free-roaming fighting game. You can, I mean, you move like that, which is pretty cool. Sort of a brawler. Uh, every other character just feels like a character from another game. Yeah. Like, this guy is just like Hagar, but not. Hagar the Horrible? No, Hagar from uh, Street Fighter and, um, oh, what's the, he's, he's from a beat-em-up. No. What beat-em-up? Power Gem? Him? No, it's it's not. It's like the other one, other than Final Fight, or wait, maybe it is Final Fight. Wait, what am I thinking? Is it Power Stone? The like the the arcade. Power Stone is similar to this. Yeah, that, that's what it reminds me of. Um, but it has like more. Oh my God! Level gotcha. levels to it. So, uh, Ben, you were about to tell us like oh. a story before we started. Well, I w it's it's just an idea that I had, and I mentioned it to Munchie, and surprisingly, he agreed with me. And is that do you think that maybe comics and animation aren't as aren't maybe more maybe they're more popular now, but like historically have not been as popular in the West as in Japan because Westerners just can't fucking draw. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm a Westerner, and I can't fucking draw. Westerners just can't fucking draw. I don't know what it is, but, like, every every fucking Japanese can just... is just, like... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I know I'm racist. I know I'm racist. That's but it okay. just, it just I seems... I mean, against yourself, it seems. It just seems... I just Look, feel like the ability... The Japanese can draw mangas. The blacks can jump high for the basketballs. This is not racism. This is just scientific something or other. I just feel like like, the, abi like the ability to like you know draw like an image that at least looks like what you want it to look like and has like I don't know maybe it's just because everyone hang on this is kind of I like actually I've I've come up with five explanations if you want to hear any well, of them. well I just want to say this is like a chicken and an egg thing because maybe maybe West maybe Japanese can draw but or maybe Japanese like manga because Japanese can draw or maybe Japanese can draw because they all read manga the latter seems more likely to me yeah I think because because. I think the cultural impact of each was, like, comics have always, like, up until, like, the 80s had that whole reputation of, like, they're for kids or they're not, like, a like a mainstream thing. In the West, you mean? Yeah, yeah, whereas in Japan, it was, like, girl immediately dog, they were more mainstream. <laughs> she was doing that Naruto thing, turning into the, the guy. I um, thought she was turning into a Red 13. Here's my explanation, Ben. It's, it's sort of It's sort of twofold. The first part of it is that Japan has such a defined art style. Yeah. Like that, you know, everyone probably who wants to be a manga artist grows up copying the it's manga look. Simultaneously the worst and best thing yeah. about manga. Uh, and the other part is that that particular art style that's popular is a lot more simplistic and easy to do than the what's popular in the West. Like, like Western comics is largely dominated by gigantic, muscly men 
uh, you know, mm-hmm. fighting, which mm-hmm. is requires not only a ton of detail, but a ton of dynamic posing, which are both really hard to do. I mean, you we- know? Westerners, Westerners learn to draw by reading fucking Andrew Loomis and, like, copying anatomy charts. And right. the Japanese probably just read, probably just, like, co- co- they just copy pages out of their favorite manga, like right. fucking Mashiro from Bakuman did. Yeah, I mean, like... I think you can you can distinct it, it's kind of like how you can really tell um, like the reason that American manga always looks so wrong is because you can tell that they read how to draw manga and that's how they learned as opposed to actually drawing manga you yeah. know yeah um, and this then game you can is not good <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> that guy's name is God Hand he's it, a fucking God Hand you ever play God Hand no were it not for the Final Fantasy characters. This would be the most unremarkable turd that, well, <laughs> since the first turd. <laughs> no, since the second turd. Because the first one would be remarkable. How long do you think you're going to play this for? Okay, Is this well, going to become an aborted Let's Play? So, I, no, I no. The actual... The, the fighting game part of this game sucks shit. But there is a mode that they added just for the console release because it was originally an arcade in Japan. That, so it's in this, there's a, a whole other separate, like a one-player dungeon crawler mode, which is fucking awesome, and alone is worth the price of this game. So why aren't we doing that? Why are we fighting? Well, I mean, I wanted to show off what the game is. Oh. And also right. he, and also... <laughs> he's Can we go do the me, dungeon? I don't know what he's about to say. Can we go do dungeon mode now? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this looks miserable. Ah! Just this... It's not even that the fighting's bad, that the stage is awful. Yeah. Like, the way it's laid out is Actually, you really know, I want to show you, like, the dumbest part about this game. <laughs> it's, uh... I'll... Oh, boy. So, I'm gonna pick Sephiroth. Yeah! And you can see how Sephiroth fights in this game. Because oh, no. it's really dumb. I mean, does he have the Masamune? He has it. Oh, but, um, no. But he... but he doesn't use it? Well, here's the thing. You can sort of... I, if you can, this guy will leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get out, get out of here. You, okay, you put your hand on the hilt, and that, that's what he does. <laughs> this is how, wax you this is the... how Sephiroth battles in this game. Well, I mean... The most, the, <laughs> the most terrifying villain in Final Fantasy. <laughs> if he actually got the sword out, the battle would just be over. The sword just, doesn't even look imagine him, nearly long enough. Imagine him, like, slaughtering the Shinra building with this technique. Well, all right. Here's here's my explanation. It's because, like, even though you can't see it, presumably the sword is going through like a hilt or, or a, a loop of some kind, and his arms are just are not long enough to take <laughs> it out. Coward. Like he, oh god, oh, oh, oh shit, what? what? There we go. Oh, how did this happen? Okay. Okay, somehow he took it out. I guess he can though... take it out, but that move is just dumb. Even I think it's cool, actually. Not. Nah, you know what? You're right. It's cool. It's not dumb. This is actually a really great game, and I love it. Um, uh, <laughs> oh no! It's you put the sword back. It's over. Oh god! Why would he ever put it back? <laughs> is it? Isn't this sword supposed to be like twice that length, though? Well, it it varies between. Like, yeah, it's in canoni- game, in canonically it's like a fight. seven foot sword. Yeah, I I mean the the first time you fight with him in that flashback, like yeah. it's fucking look at this like, like nine feet long. This like boxing juke and jive that he's doing. I wanted to see him do this in the game. <sighs> This, Sephiroth just summoned Meteor, and now he like doesn't know what to yeah. do while he's waiting for it. This so is he's the just true, here to beat some the dudes true up. final boss of Seven is this boxing <laughs> ring, and Sephiroth is just going around like this. Ben, I guess I always <laughs> assumed you had, but have you beaten Final Fantasy Seven? I have beaten Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, it's one of the few Final Fantasy I've beaten. I think I just sure you can. You just don't like talk about it nearly as much as, uh, as Nate, Nate and Jesse, for, for example. No, y- yeah, I mean I liked it, and I beat it, and it's a good game. But whatever. Uh, I, let's see. Yeah, I beat seven. I beat eight. I beat ten. I beat the original one, and I think that's it. Video games are for nerds, and I don't did like you, them. Did you beat the original on the NES or no? On, on like a remake, Game Boy, on the Game Boy or yeah, something. That was cool. Wait, what's he got there? Some gay little. I think that's the story sword of the game. Like the story of this game is there's a magic sword or some shit. No one cares. And it's just like, a magic sword. It's a it's an air gay sword. Fucking Japanese. Okay, this is enough of. I like how their hair continues to move even after you pause. <laughs> that's bizarre. So that's air gaze, the worst game ever. Now let's play air gaze, the best game ever. <laughs> What the hell happened? Oh, there you go. Yeah, for some reason, the signal cuts out uh, briefly when you reload or when you go Dumbass through those different. 
Alright, so this is brand new quest. The Forsaken <laughs> That's Dungeon. The mode. It's called literally called brand new quest. <laughs> It's the opposite of Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh my god, you're right! <laughs> oh shit. shit, I wonder if that was intentional. <laughs> no fucking way. You think the people that made this game spoke English? I don't know. They're too busy reading No, they manga. named the game Air Gaze. They clearly don't speak <laughs> <Yeah>. English. <laughs> that has never been a word in any language, and never will be. It sounds vaguely oh, German. Normal mode. There's definitely going to be a comment on this video about what language it's from. Mm. Ach, it's it's got to be German. It sounds German. Or a civilization more advanced than we could ever imagine. However, there are only a few scholars who believe this. Okay, that's some... I bet it's false. I'll bet there's no truth to this legend. <laughs> <laughs> you must be one of those scholars then. Actually, the idea is not even accepted as theory. Then why are you telling me, Professor? Mm -hmm. I guess she's just like, hmm, well, tell me more anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you mention any of this on the test, you will fail the class. <laughs> the formula of the castle. Oh my god, oh, that's, a, Jesus. that's a big, that's a big paragraph. Um, it keeps, it just keeps happening. <laughs> That that's stone the... is probably the key to answering the mystery of immortality. Oh, that's the key to answering the mystery of okay. immortality. I was wondering. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> that's her response. Claire. I'm gay. <laughs> this is this is a good answer. <laughs> Professor Koji has no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah. I think he's drunk in class. I think he's again. Yeah. But if that's really isn't it the... Oh, boy. Oh. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely, he says, pouring yeah. himself another another neat whiskey. I like how she's excited about this thing that he's, like, literally just told her is, like, almost definitely not real, <laughs> accepted by no one, yeah. and is basically just a fairy tale, and she's like, and she that's the dream of every but, archaeologist. But, yeah, but what if we did find it? Like, no, <laughs> That's you're not, been you're, my dream you're my whole listen. life. <laughs> you're not, you're not listening, real. whatever your name is. It's not real. Yeah, but if it was... Ooh, Look at this boy. weird run cycle. Oh. <laughs> Do you think he was giving her that exposition dump only right after he had just taken her yeah, to this place? Yeah, this, like, they've just arrived at the temple. She had no idea. Well, Earth. this looks like Bomberman the Second Attack on the N64. Uh, mostly because it also starts in a sewer level like this. Oh my god. This is the best game ever made. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, is Sephiroth Whoa, what the, the Secret of Immortality? What the fuck? What happened? It was all a dream. I used that to read a... Word Up Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, this looks that's like... A, that's a, that's <laughs> this a, is how I get out of bed. This that's is a, a Biggie this... Small song. This right? is about yes. to be. This is about to become Heavy Rain. Because I've never heard that Biggie Small song, but there's a reference to it in a clipping song. Birthdays was the worst days. Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. It's been several years since this hotel has had visitors, and they're still just going. <laughs> Basic attack is the square button. Oh, you, magic is the circle button. If you have fire materia equipped, you can more... Oh, yes, Dude, similar there's magic. To, there's materia. To avoid a monk, press the R1 button. Normally, you use your right, and if you go without guarding for too long, the other things, you can jump, probably. you can. There's a triangle button somewhere. Oh. Oh, fuck. You can sell Square Enix and just fight it then. It's time yeah. to find the hotel. Shop by depositing... Shop cashless by depositing... I don't understand what that means at all. Deposit all the money! Oh, oh, okay. Deposit all the money! Bye. Oh, I got a sword and shield. Oh, man. Speaking of depositing all your money, I've been playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon lately. Munchie made me play Explorers of Sky because apparently it's like his favorite game ever. Um, and it's pretty fun, and it's pretty sweet that, like, it's all about, it's all about these Pokemon. Like, you, you're a human, and you wash up on a beach, and you've become a Pokemon, but you don't remember what happened. And you just meet all these Pokemon, and they have all these, like, wacky personalities. Like, I made friends with Karel the Donphan, who is just, like, a coward who wants to be a great explorer. And there's, like, a really excitable Sunflora who just thinks everything's the greatest thing ever. And there's an Exploud who is, like, really angry and stuff and always yelling. 
and 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 there's a diglet there's no there's a doug trio who just sits on like a cliff lo- overlooking the sea staring out into the sea and being like the sea is so vast would that I could be as vast and expansive. <laughs> oh, see, hear me. Oh, he's see, the, teach me. Oh, see, understand me. <laughs> he's the original Solaire. Yeah, but for the sea. And um, so I really oh, like God. it. Ex- I really oh, like it, except... Oh, scary. Except that all the dungeons are randomized and long as shit and really hard. And so I think the conclusion I'm coming to is that the story of the game is amazing, but the game itself fucking sucks balls. I, Maybe it'll grow in complexity and win me over. God, I hope it does. I was, I was gonna say, I, I've known you to be someone who's really into incredibly hard, randomly generated roguelikes. So yeah, but well, well, um, Stone Soup has like such a wealth of mechanics that are just like, all working all the time. I, I feel like it, yeah, you're big into like Isaac too, right? And stuff I am like really that. into Isaac. I know that's why I'm saying like like for for me to change my mind there would have to be a lot more complexity which maybe there will I, be I'm I'm gonna suspect that there's not uh, I don't just know there cause... are things that have been alluded to like move linking and stuff I don't even know what that means and like all my moves kind of feel the same right now maybe they'll be like get more that do more interesting things I really want to love the game. But also, I started playing it in the hopes that I could maybe like nuzlocke it, but it's really I don't think it's. A Do you game. catch Pokemon in it? You you um sometimes an enemy enemy Pokemon that you defeat will like respect you and like ask to join your team after a dungeon is over, so you don't catch them, but you do like build a party. You uh, just like switch between which one you're using at the moment. You can like you can take four with you um yeah. into each dungeon. There's you, there's your best friend, and then there's, like, a team of yeah. two, two extras I'm pretty sure team. that the way the game plays is exactly the same as Izuna, uh, the Unemployed Ninja. Yeah. It, it, it actually really reminds me of um, the shitty dungeons from S... What's the... Reseteer. Only it's mm. grid-based. But other than that, it's, like, very, very similar. You didn't Which like is, the dungeons in Reseteer? They were not the best part of the game. No. I've, I haven't played... That much of Reseteer, but I do I've think the Reseteer. combat was somewhat underwhelming, especially compared to Chantilly's for the same developers, which is super fun to play. The combat in Reseteer was okay. I didn't hate it, but whatever, man. It, it's, it's really samey, and the dungeons were way too long. Yeah. This isn't that fun. <laughs> it doesn't look that fun. <laughs> it looks, <laughs> looks pretty fucking basic to be TBH fam. Yeah... I remember it being fun, but maybe I just remember being proud of beating it. That could be the case. <laughs> I think... I th- I mean, how long ago did you beat it? Like, 16 years ago. So this is probably just an age thing. Yeah, I mean, wait, how long have I been alive? Uh, you you maybe, would have been 11 maybe if it was 16 years maybe ago. Maybe it's closer to, like, 19 years ago. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. Were you, like, a fucking child? How old were you when you played Final Fantasy VII? Eight. Because, yeah, that was the year it came out. <sighs> So yeah, you were probably just excited well, about this game because it had, you know, your favorite wait. guys in it. Wow, I must have played 7 really late, because I played it when I was, like, probably, like, 13. Ugh. So I'm, it must have been out for Ugh. years before I actually played it. Ugh. 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 Wait, yeah, I, in fact, I know that is the case, because I'm pretty sure 8 was already out by the time... Wait, how long was there between 7 and 8? Just one... Like, a year? Y- no, wait, two years. Okay, yeah. If you played 99. it when you were 13, then 10 would have been out already. Not in fact, 10 2 would have been out already. I think that oh, okay, I fuck. think that no, I think 9 came out after I got after I played 7. Like I think yeah, I think I 7 and 8 were out when I got 7 and then 9 came out after that. So 9 came out in like 99, so so I would have been I'm not there, playing this game anymore. No, I hate it. There's no way I was only 11. I had to be older than that. Uh, next game? Yeah. Wait, wait a minute. I'll just... Where's the... Where's the... Where's I'll, the I'll show everyone the one cool part of this game. Here we go. Here we go. Um, you go down this well, right? This is the well in the center of the town. And, uh, you go over here, and you go into this room. Oh, my Whoa, God! What the fuck? It's an eldritch abomination from hell! Whoa, that's awesome! That was a real Dark Souls yeah. moment. See, that's the intrigue of this part, is that you level up until you can beat that guy. And that's why it's cool. 